Hi, this is Fab Dupont. We're back at Flux Studios in New York City. I'm going to show you a couple features I find particularly interesting in the Convert 80 Plus. The Convert 80 Plus has two inputs. Why? Uh, because you could have one input for mixing and one input for mastering. You could have two separate chains. You can also use it as a great AB box. So you have two, say you're mixing, and you have two, uh, two bus chains. You want to compare between the two of them. It's not easy to do, not even in a computer. Here it's just one switch, and it's pretty awesome. Side story about the analog input design here. Just like the A2D chip and the circuitry before the A2D chip, this circuit right here, the input stage, was blind tested across many engineers. And uh, a poll was taken, and the best one won. So that's it for the inputs. We mentioned inputs, let's talk about outputs. There are two pairs of AES outs. There's one ADAT out, where you can actually output your A to D, your digital signal on output one, two of an ADAT cable. There's a SPDIF optical out, which is different from ADAT, look it up. There's a SPDIF coaxial out, RCA connector. And it has USB, which means that if you connect a simple USB cable between the back of the Convert 80 Plus to your computer, you can now use the 80 Plus as an input into your DAW, which is great. It ships with auto mode on, which means that this will actually follow the sample rate you select in your DAW, no matter what your DAW is, which is nice. And it works for Windows and for Mac. Another great draw to this box for me is the metering. Metering is key, super crucial. This meter is the heir to the meter in the old MQ, which I've been looking at making records for many, many years. So if you look, you see that it's a peak over average meter. Peak is how loud music is. Average is how loud music feels. The difference between the two is your dynamic range. You need both values, and you need to know the relationship between the two values to really be efficient. Here, the dancing red light is your peak, and the green and orange LEDs are your average. And the difference between the two is your dynamic range. Another great feature here is you have a zoom. Why is that useful? It's useful because today most music is recorded loud as hell, or as we say in New York City, loud as the F train. And that means that most of the action happens between minus 10 and zero. Let me show you. Here's my track. I can kind of tell on the full range meter, I can tell that it's pretty loud, and I can tell that my peak over average is, I don't know, five, six inch, you know? But if I zoom, now I can see exactly what happens between minus 10 and zero, and I can tell that my average is about a minus 60 BFS. That is very useful to deliver a loud master, for example. You know exactly where you're parking your stuff. Let's take a look at this track. You can see my peaks dancing. It is useful to know what is the loudest peak of the track. To do so, you hit peak hold, and that tells you what the loudest peak is. You can also zoom and have a very clear vision of where the peak hold is. This was minus five. Fair. Now, you can reset the peak like this. Every time you reset the peak, it's like you started from scratch. And then, of course, if you no longer want to know what your loudest peak is, you just hold it and it resets the whole system. Having this on allows you to take your eyes off the meter, concentrate on something else, and always be able to come back at any time and have kind of like a history of what happened. This is how loud you got. You don't have to have your eyes glued on it. It's there having your back. By the way, the Convert 80 Plus also has an over indicator. Three full length words and your clipping and the Convert 80 Plus will tell you. Um, so you can look at it here. And when it turns uh, orange, orange is bad. And if you use the over indicator in conjunction with the peak hold, even when you stop your audio, you'll see that you clipped, which is very useful. These may seem like basic features on paper, but in reality, once you start working in real life, they make a big difference. Mm -hmm.